So, this is not surprising in any way. DJ Reader has not even been approached about a contract extension. Obviously, with the most recent contract extension being Trey Hendrickson, a lot of fans are speculating, wait, when is DJ Reader going to get his contract extension? One thing you have to realize is the Bengals are trying to keep together all the star playmakers they can, right? And at the end of the day, there are going to be players who simply do not return to this roster the following year. DJ Reader is in the last year of his contract, and he is 30 years old. So while the Bengals are interested in bringing him back, you got to think of this as a totem pole. And as Mike Brown said, pretty much no one's getting paid until Joe Burrow gets paid. I know um, Trey Hendrickson just got a contract extension. It was a one-year extension, and based on what I understand, it was kind of like a close-cut case. It wasn't like a back-and-forth crazy negotiation. It was a, hey, listen, where we want you to here for another year. Awesome, you want to be here. Here's what this the contract is. Awesome, you accept it, done. And DJ Reader might be in the same vein where, you know, it's just a close cut. You walk in, you get a contract done, and that's it. But, again, they need to make sure they have enough money for, first off, Joe Burrow, then T. Then, again, down the list here, probably goes Logan Wilson, and then a couple players, and then maybe DJ Reader. So, again... They have the whole year to work out a contract with DJ Reader. And my guess is DJ's not going to be a, you know, tough person to work with here. It's not going to be like a long, you know, back and forth. And the Bengals might know that. They might be like, you know what? We're going to have to really go back and forth with, you know, T, with Burrow, with this set of players. So let's just get that done first, work with them, and then players that are easier to work with we're kind of worked throughout the season. Because, again, they have a whole entire season to work out a contract with DJ Reader. Now, DJ Hill is actually really freaking good, too, though. So, if he has another really great season and the Bengals are like, oh, we don't have to re-sign DJ Reader. We could let him walk. Go sign, you know, go draft another D-tackle or maybe sign another D-tackle and be a backup to DJ Hill. That's also very possible. Again, I know it sucks that, you know, you can, you, all, you fall in love with these players, right? And I, obviously, we love every single Bengal player right now on the roster. But it, sometimes, eventually, they have to go and go get paid somewhere else. You know, we got DJ from Houston, and it was amazing his time here. And if he does end up leaving us and going somewhere else, then somebody else will come in and fill his place. This se- offseason, we lost Jesse Bates, Von Bell, and Hayden Hurst, and Samaj P. Ryan. Four players that I really wish we had back. But at the end of the day, that is part of the business, and that is a part of how football works. As long as we get to keep our key guys like T. Higgins and you know Chase, obviously, Burrow, Logan Wilson, we got Pratt already locked down. It is what it is. But with that being said, though, I I will put this as this. I think there's an 80% chance that DJ Reader is back on a new contract before the end of this season. And I'm going to say 100%. It's probably going to be a one-year or two-year contract at most. I don't think he's going to get what Geno Watkins got when he turned 30 with the Bengals um, a couple years ago. I think it's going to be, you know... Probably a one-year, two-year contract, probably in the ballpark range of seven to eight million a year, sixteen million total, and that's really what we are going to see. But again, like I said, it could be completely opposite what I say, and I could be completely wrong. Um, but him not being approached yet by the Bengals for this extension is not really surprising at all. It really comes down to the priorities and making sure they get everything done and fixed before the season does go ahead and start. And then once the season starts, there's going to be players that do get, you know, contract extensions. And DJ Reader, as I said before, is not the only player going into this year on a, on the last year of their contract. So, you know, this isn't even like a one, a one thing where it's like, oh, yeah, they're taking a shot at DJ Reader. No, they're not taking a shot at anybody. It's just priorities. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, though. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace out.